All right, what's up, guys? This is Tom Taylor hanging out in Manila with Drex Zamboanga. Drex, you have a uh, a very big fight coming up. Yeah, yeah. An interesting fight, though. I mean, because we've known for some time that you were going to fight the winner of this show, yeah. but we didn't know who the winner was going to be for, yeah. for quite a while. Yeah. What has that experience been like for you? Uh, first, uh, it was very surprising because I, I know Adonis um, before since he started his MMA career. So now, no, um, some of the fans are uh, like very confused because we are both Filipino fighters. But uh, as I said, um, we are here. We are here to, you know, to show the fans that how Filipino Wire is is like, you know, to show our talents mm -hmm. in mixed martial arts. You mentioned you, you had met him before he got into MMA, before he was on the yeah. show. How did you meet him? How do you know him? Um, because before uh, we, uh, I mean, um, we fight in the same card, like in some local MMA mm -hmm. events in Philippines. And then we trained before but just a little quiet only. Mm -hmm. So how long have you known Adonis was the opponent? Like, we've known for a long time you were fighting the winner of the show. Mm -hmm. How long have you known who the winner is going to be and who you're fighting? Actually, um, one of my teammates there was, um, was one of the contender. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, uh, and he, he told to me who is the winner. And that's why I, have, I had an idea before. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, um, for me, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's kind of difficult because I know him. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we are both Filipino. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's, it's kind of strange. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You must have been watching the show very yeah, closely, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Were, were you sort of sizing these guys up, yeah. thinking like, oh, I'd fight him, but I don't really want to yeah, fight yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, when, when, I, when I watch the show, when I watch the show, it's like, um, I, know, I, I know Adonis' potential. I know he. he I know he, uh, he has a chance. He has a big chance to win in that uh, in that um, uh, show. That's why I have an idea too. That kind of thing. Well, he's of course very good. Uh, what did you think of the talent level on the on the whole show? Though obviously these are younger yeah. guys, newer yeah. guys to the yeah. sport. Uh, what What did you think of the level of talent we saw? That I, for me, um, there's a lot, actually in uh, in uh, when it comes to Filipino athletes. Um, there's a lot of Filipino athletes that has a very big potential, especially in in, mixed mar in martial arts. That's why, for me, um, um, there's a lot of young athlete now that is up coming up. You know, that's why you 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 will never estimate it, that kind of talent that they've given to to them. Mm -hmm. As you've said, you're both Filipino. I think in a, in a perfect world, any Filipino yeah. fighter on these cards would like yeah. to fight somebody from out yeah, of town, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Is, is it tough for you having to fight somebody, yeah, one of your countrymen and a friend? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, um, just, like I, just like what I said, it's very strange, you know, to fight a uh, Filipino fighters also, because um, as a Filipino, as long as I want to represent my, my team and my country, um, it, 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 uh, it's very challenging for me to, to, do, to, to fight against a Filipino warrior also. So for me, it's, you know, it's, just, it's just a business only, you know. We are here to, um, like to do our duty, you know, mm -hmm. to do our duty to show them how Filipino warriors are. Mm -hmm. um, now, I know he's a friend of yours. You've met him. You guys get along and everything. But uh, when this fight was announced, the first thing that struck me is you have so much more experience than him. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. fought in like five times more fights than him. Yeah, Do you yeah. see that being a big factor here? Yeah, uh, for me, uh, yeah, there, there's a big factor in that, no? Uh, because uh, I have a lot of experience against him. But that thing that, thing that how he trained in Baguio City, the 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 level of training there was on top mm -hmm. because we all know that team laka is one of the best team here in in Philippines you know so you, you never underestimate the training de there in, in in that kind of um, place you know so that's why I'm not very I mean um, that's why now I, I prepared a lot for this you know and we all know that um, I, and I know also Adonis is a, is a talent guy, he is a tough guy.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of like raw potential and athleticism yeah. in him for sure. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. And certainly anybody from Team Lakai needs to be taken very seriously. Yeah. Uh, speaking of good gyms, you've got your own now. Yeah. Uh, your sister Denise just mentioned yeah. it. How, how's that going? Yeah, now um, we're doing good in, in, uh, in my own gym, no? And also um, it's, it's very good it's very good to see her that he that she trained on my own gym and i monitor his training you know i uh, i saw how how she developed his skills i saw her grappling i saw her striking and then we we have a lot of uh, high level coaches there and then and also um, we have a lot of place that we train outside the gym mm -hmm. When people think of, of MMA gyms in this country, of course, they think of Team Lakai. It's the famous mm -hmm. gym. They've, they've produced many champions yeah, and won championship. Yeah. But, you know, with you and your sister, yeah, that's yeah. possible. You guys will start collecting yeah. some belts, too. Is your hope yeah. to sort of uh, mimic the success of, of Team Lakai and become another big uh, super, yeah. super gym in this country? Yeah, actually, I, I, have, I have a lot of athletes in my gym that now is uh, local champions. No? Um, we produce uh, already four, uh, four champions in, in my gym, and I, I'm, 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 I'm one of the proud of, of, uh, of that gym now. And now um, um, I'm hoping that someday that the T-Rex MMA gym, uh, in my, uh, um, the, the gym that I produce is to build a champion also, like in international level. Mm -hmm. And and I know uh, we will uh, go in that in that kind of you know in that kind of level. Right. Uh, you mentioned some. You have some local champions. Is URCC still doing shows? Yeah. yeah. yeah URCC, They've yeah. been around forever, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, URCC is now exi uh, URCC is, ex is, is, uh, is existing, and then there's a lot of promotion. Also now is going in Philippines now. Manila. So, yeah, we, we, we are preparing for that, you know, and and we are develop, developing also an athlete, a athlete and a fighter that we will become a world champion also. I think a lot of people, they sort of underestimate how strong the, the local scene mm -hmm. is here, right? You've got a lot of local promotions. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have the fighters in one championship. You have mm -hmm. a guy called Manny Pacquiao, who's a yeah. big deal over here. Yeah. But uh, but people maybe don't don't recognize how strong the local mm -hmm. scene is here, you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's like... Uh, that's like on myself, no? Um, I am a product of a local scene, and no one expected that I'm going to be an at I'm going to be a uh, world athlete uh, mm -hmm. level. That's why now I. That's not. Uh, that's why now my goal is uh, to be a world champion at the same time. To uh, we called it to what you call this um to make yeah yeah our own uh homegrown champion also right very exciting yeah. well um i just want to talk a bit more about your career obviously uh you've been jumping around between weight classes yeah, lately yeah, yeah. i mean it was lightweight last time yeah. you were talking about christian lee now you're yeah. back down at bantam weight yeah, yeah, yeah. can you pick a weight class i mean <laughs> what, which one which one do you want to be in actually now i am actually there's nothing there's no problem for me in that kind of uh, jumping different weight classes because um, I am a flyweight before mm -hmm. when, 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 I, uh, when I fight my first debut in one championship and then now I'm fighting for bantamweight so for me uh, it's you know it's um, like it's very normal for me because I've been doing this for 10 years which already. weight class do you feel best in though? For me, bantamweight is the best for me because um, I feel very comfortable in this division. At the same time, if they if um, they offer me to fight in a, in lightweight or in featherweight, I think for me it's, uh, it's 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 good for me because. My weight is, you know, very adjustable. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not very heavy. I'm not that kind of, you know, very um, light. So mm -hmm. I think for me, it's it's good. <laughs> right, right. Well, you're on a great win streak right now. Um, presuming you stick to bantamweight, you get the win this weekend. How far off do you think a, a title shot is for you? Yeah. Um, if you know, um, if uh, one championship, they will um, offer me to fight in top five at least i think it's i think it's 
it's good for me and I'm, I'm very I'm get very grateful to do that at the same time um, I think um, one of my uh, one of my dream no to become a champion is is will be coming soon mm -hmm. well it seems like a matter of time certainly you're on a great streak as I said uh, well I have you what do you think of the rematch between uh, Fabricio and John Lineker how do you see that one going yeah for me uh, I think they need to do a rematch yeah for me because um, John, John Lineker Lin has a very good hands we all know that and Fabricio also has a, is a very good striker and then you know I think for uh, for me I think they need a rematch because you know the the fans wants that also mm -hmm. All right, well, let's wrap it up here. Uh, you've got a, a great fight coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that it's uh, against a guy you consider yeah. a friend, one yeah. of your countrymen. And, yeah. of course, you don't want to think too much about hurting, putting a hurt on one of your buddies. Yeah, but, yeah. but how do you want to win this one? How do you want to do it? Yeah, the, um, for me, like, you know, I think um, make the best man win, you know. Th this is, a, this is um, a business, you know, that we need to finish. And then at the same time, um, uh, this is our career, you know. This, this is our duty to fight and to show the Filipino fans, not only the Filipino fans, but to the world, how the Filipino Warriors is. And yeah, I think um, this is it, you know. Mm -hmm. And if, if you beat him, you know, given that he's your friend, will you maybe offer him some tips as he goes yeah. forward? Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm good for that, you know. I'm not that kind. I, I, I mean, I'm a good person, you know. I can share them what what I learn. He can go in our gym so that we can share some techniques mm -hmm. or we can train each other, just like we did before, <laughs> you know. So yeah, he, he's welcome. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for the time and good luck this weekend. Okay, it's great to talk you, to you. Bro. Thank you, bro.